I'm Kevin Ergel. I'm one of the medicine residents here at Shands at UF. And today we're going to be talking about general lung zones using our model. First, let's talk about the ultrasound in general. This is called a linear probe. This is used for superficial structures. We sometimes use this to look at the pleura on the lung, but better probe is the cardiac probe, which is over here. So generally we use this cardiac probe. This is helpful for more deep structures. So using our model, we're going to show you three different zones, the anterior, the lateral, and the posterior zones. For the anterior zones, we find two points which we call the upper and the lower blue points. Using our hands, we line up our pinky finger with the clavicle, and then we overlap our right thumb, our right hand over the thumbs to cover the patient's chest. In the middle of our ring finger and third finger on the left hand is considered the upper blue points, and the middle of the palm on the right hand is considered our lower blue points. These would be the two points that we could listen from the anterior chest and look with the ultrasound. On the lateral side, we follow from the same points our right palm, and you can see that our right pinky makes a line, which we call the phrenic line. We follow it to the mid-axillary line. This would be where we use the ultrasound probe on the lateral lung zones. For the posterior lung zone, you want to have the patient roll onto their side and you listen at the point that's called the plaps point on the back for posterior.